Hey friends, welcome back and welcome to my channel. This is Margo from Margo's Budget. It has been a while since I posted a video, but I have been budgeting cash stuff in and paying off my debt um, over the last years. Uh, today we're going to budget my October 15 paycheck. I got paid, um, I get paid twice a month on the 15th and at the end of each month. And this paycheck will cover October 15th to the 30th. Um, so let's get started um, into the paycheck budget. Uh, so how's everybody out there today? Um, it is Thanksgiving here in Canada. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians. Um, we're celebrating Thanksgiving today. So I'm rec actually recording this video today. And Thanksgiving so um, yeah so let's get started on the budget so let me kind of zoom in a little bit sorry guys this I got a new tripod so I'm trying to maneuver maneuver it so yeah so for this paycheck I will be budgeting um, so for, I'm a sideway um, writer, so uh, so this budget I will be budgeting. Uh, so pay. This is for my full time job, um, my nine to five. Uh, so we'll be budgeting sixteen twenty six times fifty one. You guys can see very well. Uh, the actual is sixteen twenty six point fifty one, and so the total is same. Uh, so the first bill that we're actually going to be um, budgeting for is my internet bill. And this is through Bell. I move some stuff out of the way so I can actually have more space. I'm working on a very small table, so bear with me. Um, okay, that's much better. Um, so my bill, my internet bill is 84 and 45 cents. So I have a cheat sheet that I'm looking, looking at uh, to make sure that I don't mess up. And then um, the next thing I'm budgeting for is my car insurance. And this is due on the 15th and that's 240.75 and then my car loan which is also due on the 15th is for 547.80 and then I am going to budget for Amazon Prime. And that is due around the, the 20, the 25th. And that is for um, $11.29. Then I have phone. For my son, and that is for thirty dollars and forty-two cents. That is actually due today on the fourteenth. Uh, so um, that was already paid this morning. Um, then Netflix is. Eighteen dollars and sixty-three cents, 
and this is not due until the 25th of the month the same time as amazon prime is due and then for my hydro bill so toronto hydro um that is 135 and 17 cents normally it's less than 100 dollars but you know with the summer and using your ac and whatnot um it usually goes up a little bit so the total for um sorry the total for those uh, those add up to one thousand and seventy six dollars and fifty one cents so now we're gonna get into the um my cash envelope so my cash envelope only has uh, four categories so it's um my allowance so my spending and i give myself thirty dollars and eaten out and that thirty dollars and gas because i do drive to work um i would say maybe uh three to four times sometimes five times a week it depends um and i give myself a hundred and twenty dollars for and this the hundred and twenty dollars is to cover the pay period actually you know what uh let me just fill this in so it's october and then my pay period is october 15 to 30th so this is what i'm budgeting for all these bills come out during this time um and then uh groceries is 150. this grocery is um this grocery is only for one week so my husband covers the grocery bill for the following week and then so one week is my week and then one week is his week so that's how we vote we vote to rotate the uh, um the grocery bill um again this pay check is my paycheck and this these are the bills that i cover um this paycheck cover other bills um so i'm just budgeting for the bills that i covered um my savings is i'm doing some savings right now and um it's not much going to savings right now um until i cover cover um pay off some, uh, my debt so i'm saving some money but um more aggressively paying off debt so uh with that being said my i have a weekly challenge that i'm doing and you will see it in my next video so weekly challenge and i am putting 15 dollars to towards that challenge and then um i'm saving for my son's basketball um uh, uh, my ba son's basketball um fees and that's 300 dollars every three months so each paycheck i am actually putting away um fifty dollars but this paycheck i'm only putting away ten dollars and then hopefully the next paycheck i'll add ninety dollars and then uh, my sinking funds i don't know about you guys but i love sinking funds um it just makes life so much easier when you have money put away in certain categories uh for those um events that comes up and that you have to take care of and it doesn't just break your um 
you know what I mean? It's sometimes you have to take this money out of your paycheck. But if you save little by little in the sinking fund, it will help so much to um, to cushion um, your your time of needs. All right, so in sinking fund, I'm putting forty five dollars. So oh, I forgot to put the total here for the cash in club. So this comes out to $330. And then um, for the savings challenge, this is $70. $70. So down to my debt now, um, I'm putting $150 into debt. I'm gonna call it debt saving, right? So $150. The total is 150. So let's do a summary at the bottom here. Let me just move this out of the way and then bring this up closer. So okay, so our, we said our income was 16.2651, and then our bills, which is the amount here. Is for one thousand and seventy six dollars and fifty one cents. Our cash envelope is three thirty. Our savings is seventy dollars, and then our um, then our debt is one fifty. Okay. And this comes out to, I wish I had a calculator. Actually, I do have a calculator. But this is the solar calculator. Let's see if, oh, it's actually working. So if we, if we take our pay, which is 1626.51 minus 1076.51. Minus three thirty minus seven minus seventy oh I did something wrong here. So sixteen twenty six point fifty one minus ten seventy six point fifty one leave us as five fifty minus three thirty minus seventy dollars leave us with 150 so we end up with a zero base budget a zero base budget doesn't mean that there's zero amount in my bank account there's still a little bit of cushion in my bank account for those unexpected expenses that might come up um but in, in, in um, i just wanted to do a zero base budget um yes so if you find this video um helpful in when in a way and uh, that you, you can um it can basically help you or help anybody else please share uh subscribe and um like this video and thank you again for joining me on another paycheck to paycheck budget and i will see you guys in the next video bye